I'm Dr. Heath Robinson, and welcome to Introduction to Geographic Information Systems 1, Fundamentals and Mapping. We're going to be studying some very foundational concepts in geographic information systems that really make the whole thing work in this course. We're going to be studying the size and shape of the Earth, how we know what the size and shape of the Earth is, how we determine position on the planet, and then how we transfer those coordinates onto a map. We're also going to be studying the essential elements of maps and making a particular study of one particular mapping technique called the choropleth mapping technique, which is very common. We're going to be studying choropleth maps from two different perspectives. First, we're going to be studying the principles of this map so that you will become an educated user of choropleth maps. But I'm also going to be teaching you how to create these maps so that you can communicate information using this particular technique. It's very important to understand maps and mapping when you're studying geographic information systems for a variety of reasons. First of all, all of the analytical components of geographic information systems, which we'll be moving into and we're setting up the foundation for here, are based in what was called analytical cartography prior to the use of computer systems. Uh, they had many different techniques for analyzing geographic information through hard copy maps, and it is very much the case that a lot of the techniques that we use, but do them digitally today, uh, were developed for hard copy map analysis uh, in the past. And so even if you're looking for a more analytical orientation, uh, you still have to understand these fundamental principles. Second, the size and shape of the Earth. We said that a geographic information system is one that can handle information about the curvature of the Earth and the shape of it. So it's very important to understand that information from the very, very beginning. The ability to create high quality maps is also essential for anyone who is studying geographic information systems. In fact, to many people, when you say you're a GIS analyst, they think about making maps. And of course, we do much more than that, but it's essential to be able to, A, read maps in order to get information off of them, whether they're hard copy or whether they're digital, because so much data that we use in GIS analysis is in map form and then B, to be able to create a high quality map from your data, from your analysis, so that you can communicate information cartographically. We're going to be looking at scale because everything that we do in geographic information systems is done at a particular scale. The Earth is very big, our desktops, uh, our computer monitors are very small, so working at a particular scale is very important. So we're going to investigate some of the ramifications of that. We're also going to be looking at issues of projection. The Earth is spherical, but desktops, sheets of paper, computer monitors, projection screens, they're all flat. So we have to have some way to systematically convert spherical coordinates to a flat uh, two-dimensional surface. This is very important, very fundamental, uh, and it has a whole lot of important implications for the kinds of work that we do. So it's very important that we understand uh, projections on a foundational level. We're going to be studying both the theory and application in all of these topics. We're going to understand the theory of these topics so that you understand what you need to do and why you need to do it and how you can get certain things right and how you can get things, certain things very, very wrong in some cases. And then also, how do you implement all of this knowledge inside an industry standard a geographic information system software package so that you not only have the theoretical knowledge, but you can immediately implement it and apply it to your own projects. Both of these are very, very important. You study theory and application together. All right, well, I'm very excited to have the opportunity to really start you on this journey learning geographic information systems. Once you learn this methodology, you're going to have so much analytical capability at your fingertips. You're going to be able to answer questions. You're going to be able to solve problems that you want to answer and that you want to solve. But it all starts right here with this fundamental information. Whether you are just here because you need an introduction to geographic information systems because you're in some other field and you need to apply this uh, methodology and these techniques to what you're working on, or if you're becoming a specialist in geographic information systems, there's a whole lot to learn. There's a tremendous amount to specialize in. Either way, this is the fundamental information that you need to know, and I'm excited to bring it to you in this format. So let's get started.